During quarantine, a lot of people are finding that they have the desire to reach out to an ex or are being reached out to by a former flame. Sometimes it's welcome, sometimes it's not. So today we're gonna to talk about why we might be doing that and what to do if you don't really wanna connect with that person. We're reaching out to old flames and exes because we want to go back to that old comfy sweater. You know, it's the thing we know. And here we are in isolation, in quarantine, and we can't build new relationships. So we're kind of going backwards to the old things we knew that brought us comfort. We have to remember that many of us, especially if we're living alone or we're more isolated, are lonely. So we're checking in with old exes because we're lonely and we're just craving that connection. And that's an easy place to get it when we can't create new ones. We can ask ourselves if this is a good time to reach out to old flames. And the answer is, who knows? You gotta be ready to know what the motivation is, and you've also gotta be ready for an outcome that might not be what you wanted. If you're not sure how you're gonna be received, can you handle that disappointment at a time when you are in quarantine? And if you feel, no big deal, nothing to lose, go for it. And as long as you can handle whatever the outcome is, see where it takes you. If you're contacted by somebody that you're not really sure you want to connect with, be direct. You can say, hey, I so appreciate you reaching out. I hope you're well. I'm not really interested in having a conversation and just shut it down. And if that feels a little bit too direct and a little bit too much, ignore is fair. This isn't a person you've necessarily had much contact with anyway. So just ignoring the outreach is okay. There are plenty of downsides to connecting to our ex. They are your ex for a reason. Very often, probably more times than not, we reconnect hoping that that person is different only to find that they're not. There are the downsides of rejection, of no change, of falling back into old habits when maybe you've moved on in a positive way. So you've got to check yourself of, is this what I want to deal with if I do reach out and connect with that person? Just like there's a downside to connecting with the next, there's an upside. Maybe that person has grown in ways you didn't realize. Maybe you can be great friends because you have some history and just that connection really helps you through this challenging time. And maybe it's just a nice recap of your life together and you can kind of have closure and move on. There's lots of things that could be beneficial in reaching out. You just gotta be prepared for all the things that could happen. If you're in a current relationship and an ex reaches out, there's always that quandary of, should I say something, should I not say something? Well, I believe in erring on the side of honesty and just saying, hey, this person contacted me, no big deal. In your new relationship, is this gonna cause a problem? If it's an established relationship, they probably know about that person, who cares? If it was a quick phone call and nothing happened, do we need to let someone know where it might cause a fight? You have to make that decision for yourself. I always think that keeping secrets only makes things worse. And if you're in a relationship where you have to keep secrets, maybe not the best relationship. So you gotta weigh out the pros and cons for yourself and figure out what you wanna do if you're contacted by an ex and you're in a new or current relationship.